guys, it's Anya, otherwise known as Pink Sweets here on YouTube, and you can also follow me on Instagram at Pink Sweets with a one instead of an I. Today I'm doing my second installment in my Disney Villains series, and today is a collab with my amazing friend Valerie from Gimme Lip and More. I have collaborated with her before, and she's almost at 100 subscribers, so let's get her above 100. Please, it would mean so much to me if you guys would go check out her channel, show her some love, subscribe. Let her know I sent you. I will link her up in the cards above and down below in the description box. And she is doing a different Disney villain character than what I'm doing. But I'm not going to tell you who she's doing. You're going to have to go see for yourself. And also today is a collaboration with Fiona and Scott's Adventures as it was last time. They go to different Disney theme parks and do vlogs. I love watching their channel. I could watch their vlogs for hours. And they are going to the different attractions that match um, our Disney villain characters that we're doing. So we're not going to get dressed up like the character. We're just doing eye looks that kind of represent the character. So today I am doing Ursula because I had to do the chunky one. What can I say? So that is what we're doing today. And because her skin is purple um, and her eye look is blue, I'm going to be doing a blue and purple eye look. And then I'll do the classic red lips. So... If you want to see what I create, then uh, keep on watching. And I will link also Fiona and Scott's adventures in the cards above and description box below. So I hope that you guys will go check out their channel and show them some love as well. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette. This is a stunningly gorgeous all matte palette here. And then I'm also going to be dipping into some of the shades that are in the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the original one. So mine is very gross and dirty. So we're going to be using both of those palettes, but I'm going to start off in the Colored Rain Vivid Pigments palette. So let me shut the other one. So I'll just put it off to the side. So I'm going to go in first with my Jaclyn Hill JH31 brush. And I'm going to dip into Neo Blue, which is like the bright, bright cobalt blue. I've already primed my eyelids with the Morphe um, eyeshadow primer. And I'm just going to go in with this shade. I thought about using the James Charles palette again, but then I was like, oh, I haven't used the colored rain one enough on camera. Actually, you know what? Maybe it, yeah, okay, good. Okay, I was trying to think. I was like, did I prime my eyes? Yes, I did. Okay, so we're gonna just put place that color there. And just remember that I tend to create more fallout than necessary because I like to drag my eyeshadows out I realized that in my last video I explained that I do that, but then I didn't really say why. Although I think I've said why before, but anyway, this is why. Because I like to create kind of like a cat eye shape, and sometimes I use tape, and then sometimes I just drag my eyeshadows out and then kind of wipe it away at a sideways angle with a makeup wipe, which then creates the perfect sharp edge. I'm all about sharp edges. So most palettes do not create as much fallout as I cause them to create. And I know it drives some people nuts, but that's why I do my foundation last. So, so I'm going to do that, and then we're going to grab a different brush. We're going to grab the JH34, and I'm going to go into Jet Set, which is like a periwinkle blue, and I'm going to put that into the crease. Basically, Ursula is like the cartoon version of Mimi from Drew Carey, so that's going to be fun, but we're going to give it a twist. Or I'll look like Mimi from Drew Carey, one or the other. Which, you know what? I'm not so mad at that either. Because I love blue eyeshadow. And 
I love crazy looks. I thought about doing a different lip color <clears throat> than red, and I still might. I haven't decided yet, but I do have a red next to me that I can use. I have this one from ColourPop, which is very red. So I'm just going to blend those two kind of together. I feel like I didn't put as much eye primer on this side as I did on the other. Because I feel like one side is not cooperating the way that I want it to as much. That's okay. We'll figure it out. So let me know in the comments what you did for Thanksgiving. You guys know what I did. And I know what some of you did. But um, also an update on the Jeffree Star palette. I'm going into the shade Cute, which is like a pinkish purple. Um, I had so much issues with the shimmer shades, but only on the lower lash line. And I will be using the palette again, but just not at all with the shimmer shades on my lower lash line. I just can't do that again. My eyes are still watering. The look that you saw me film with the Jeffree Star palette, I filmed this morning, even though you're seeing, well, for you guys, it'll be yesterday morning because you guys are seeing this video on a different day, but I had to give my eyes a break pretty much all day in order to, okay. I need a little bit of something in that one spot that does not want to grab onto any color, which is like right there. And then we'll blend that out. And then hopefully color will want to stick there. Okay. And let me just pack on the blue. Much better. So, I haven't heard back from Jeffree Star Cosmetics yet, but at the point that I'm filming this video, it's only been like 30 minutes, so I don't expect to hear back from them probably until tomorrow, but once I do, I will definitely update you guys. I just contacted them because I wanted to know if they knew maybe why that happens, like what ingredient is causing it. because, and Sophie is already snoring, because I've never had that happen before. I do know that the Dose of Colors and Katie palette, um, people did have issues with some of the shimmer shades from that palette, do the same thing. So I just wonder if there's like an ingredient that causes that to happen or if I'm just weird. But I do know, and I did link her video as well, that my friend Annette had the same exact thing happen. So I'm going to put some of the ColourPop No Filter Concealer on the back of my hand. I'm going to take this little Urban Decay brush. I have no idea where it's from. I think it came with a palette that I created myself and she snores louder than my grandpa used to. Sophie is who I'm talking about, my chihuahua. So, yeah, I don't, I don't know. It made me very sad though, because the shimmers are so pretty and I wanted to be able to use them on my lower lash line and in my inner corner but it literally felt as though the best way to describe it, cause I couldn't figure out how to describe it when I was filming. Um, cause I was so, in such shock that it was happening was that it felt like there was like, I had put Vicks VapoRub on me and then rubbed my eyes accidentally. Like that's exactly what it felt like, which is not a good feeling. So, it was the weirdest thing, because like I said, I've never had that happen before. I'm trying to 
to make these two cut creases match is going interesting today. That's it. Once I yeah, once I fix things, it'll it'll all pan out. Okay, so I'm gonna take I'm gonna take Jet Set, which is like that periwinkle blue. I'm just gonna go around where I just cut out the crease. Really pronounce that line. I love this Color Drain Vivid Pigments palette. I almost love it, if not love it, more than my Sugar Pill eyeshadows. And I know that Color Drain, like I know this palette was $50. But if you are looking for a set of beautiful matte rainbow eyeshadows, it is gorgeous. And I know that the sugar pill eyeshadows together will definitely run more than $50 for all of them. So it really depends on what you're looking for, like how many shades you want. If you only need a few, then... It might not be worth it for you, but just trying to get around that. Okay. Um, but Colored Rain also does have sales as well as Sugar Pill also has sales. So I don't know. I don't know. I have both. I love both. But... I just feel like this palette, it's also nice to have it in a palette because Sugar Pill, you can now build your own palette. Um, they did that about, I want to say like two years ago, but before that you had to buy them all individually and that was a bit more difficult to do. Just going over the pinkish purple. I really want each color to show very well. And this this look is not obviously going to be for everyone because we're going all the way up to the brow bone pretty much. But you can also tone it down or not take it up as far if you don't want to take it up as far. I love these colors together. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that same little brush from Urban Decay and I'm just going to kind of wipe off the concealer and try to get it off the back of my hand. I feel like my hands are just constantly covered in stuff. Like, <laughs> that's why I keep a like makeup wipe on hand because oh my goodness okay so now I'm gonna go into the Jaclyn Hill palette and first I'm gonna take um, this beautiful I think it's called twerk but it's this beautiful like metallic purple shade and I'm just gonna put that on the lid where the matte eyeshadow starts And bring it kind of into the blue. It's like a purpley blue. I think my nose just whistled. It is so cold here, you guys. They're saying we're going to get snow. I'll believe it when I see it. Now I'm going into that beautiful metallic teal shade. I feel like these shades are, these four that are in the corner here are the four that get used by me the most for um, looks when it comes to this palette. The rest of the palette is just a warm eyeshadow palette. Not that it's not good, it is good. But I just don't use those shades as much as I do the other ones, obviously because most of my eye looks are crazy colors. And 
I'm just making sure that it blends into that purple. So I'm going to take a little bit more of that purple and kind of feather it over. Okay. Now I'm going to go wipe away the fallout, do my foundation off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, now that I have white powder all over my black shirt, we are back and I'm just knocking off the excess powder. I used my Peach Perfect powder from Too Faced and my Maybelline Fit Me powder mixed. I will leave everything in the description box below. I've actually been much better about that, about leaving all the products in the description box that I use on my face. Um, I'm gonna go into the Marc Jacobs Kinks and Kisses blush. So when I don't do it on camera, well, I'm gonna try to link it all the time, but especially when I don't do it on camera, and I like a lot of blush, it might be a bit too much for even me, but we can tone it down. Just. over it with my beauty sponge a little bit okay and this is the morphe eyeshadow primer that i've been loving they had a deal um on their website for i want to say it was five dollars so 50 percent off but even at ten dollars i would pay that price for this primer because it's really good this contour blush trio like highlight trio is gonna last me i feel like forever because i literally dip into it like this and then it gives you like full pigmentation i think this weekend i'm gonna color my hair i haven't colored it since the day before Halloween yeah it was the day before actual Halloween and it was when I fell asleep in my hair color and that was fun um, but it worked out I mean it has lasted this whole time so I think I don't know that I'm gonna leave it in for quite as long but I think that from now on I will definitely leave it what do I want to use for my highlight? One moment, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Dream Glow Kit. Um, I got this during the Black Friday sale. So I'm gonna be using this and, oh, why not? I'll use my Anastasia highlighter brush, the A23. So, it's my rose toner spray. What was I saying before? I wish you guys could help me. Um, I'm going to go in with magic and see how that looks. That's pretty. Sophie, why are you growling at your brother? This is a very glittery highlight, but I love it. It's like blinding. Although you don't realize how much you've put on, or at least I don't, until all of a sudden you're like, whoa, that's a bit much. Okay. Before I grab this, though, I was telling you guys something. And I just do not remember at all what it was. That's okay. Oh, coloring my hair. Right, right, right. So I can't decide. I'm thinking about doing the purple on the top again. I keep getting foundation in my hair, like in my hairline. I don't know what to do about that. Um, now I gotta decide about lips, but let me put on my liner and my mascara first. Um, I kind of want to do purple on the top again and then do blue on the bottom. Or I want to do something with green. 
I have not decided. This is Deep End from Urban Decay. It is one of my favorite, as I smush it, one of my favorite liners. And then I'm going to go in with my Bad Gal Bang mascara, which I'm definitely going to have to buy the full size soon because I feel like this sample is getting a little clumpy. Not, it's not quite done, but I've had it for about a month and I usually replace my mascara every month and a half to two months. Two months is like the maximum. But yeah, I want to do something fun with my hair. I want to go back to multiple colors, I think, but I can't decide. Who knows, I might just go back to all purple again. I've also thought about doing, um, like fire orange and red, but that's too Christmassy right now, especially considering that I'm going to be doing a lot of Christmas looks. I just don't know that I want Christmas hair to go with it. So, um, oh, and I put some of this shade on my outer corner while I was off camera. Perp Smurf is what it's called. And I'm going to put some of that on my lower lash line, even though I just put on mascara. Like, I hope my eyes are ready for color on the lower lash line again. I'm telling you, I am one of those people that can literally, like, touch my eyeball and my eye won't be sensitive. So, I don't have sensitive eyes, but... All right, and then I'm going to go in with the same pencil brush and the Anastasia Dream Glow Kit again. I don't know why I keep putting on that cover. And I think I'm going to go in with Ethereal, which is gorgeous. It's like a purpley pink. Oh, that's like perfect for the inner corner. Then, oh, I don't want to ruin this with red lips. I don't know. I just feel like red lips is going to be a bit crazy. But, yeah, I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm going to put some glitter real quick. This is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter in Amp. And I'm just going to put it just a little bit in that line right there and I'm not gonna look up because it will transfer I have some glitter liners coming hopefully they'll be here in the next couple of days I'm so excited to review them because um I saw them on my friend's channel which when I do my video I'll link her channel so you can see she did like an all glitter look with her um, face and where's my little there it is um, I'm trying not to look up yet so it doesn't transfer but she did an all glitter eye look with these glitter liners and they were I think they were like a dollar each or something like that I got all ten of them for ten dollars so ten something and I got them from AliExpress and in her look they literally looked the same quality as the Urban Decay ones. So that would be awesome because the Urban Decay ones are $24 a piece. This is, you're not on the, you're still on the property, not you're not on the property. Uh, from the Alien Collection.
Uh, I am terrible at putting on liquid lipstick, you guys. So that is one option. I don't think I'm crazy about it. I mean, I like it. I think I just don't like dark lips on myself lately because I feel like I don't get it even. But you could also do like a nude. Nope, that's not a nude. That is Area 51. This is the nude that I was considering doing, but I will, I'll leave this color on for now and it, I might change my lip color for the picture. If I do, it'll be like a nude shade and then maybe I'll do a picture with each lip color. I'm going to set my face with the Morphe setting spray and then we're done. So this is my, um, Get some of that foundation out of the hairline. Um, this is my final look for Ursula. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. Let me know down below if you love this series. Um, there's going to be powder all over. This is why I don't wear black shirts during my videos. Um, but there's going to be probably at least five more to come. Um, I am collabing with quite a few more people in this series, so I'm really excited. I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of it. Don't forget to check out Valerie from Gimme Lip and More and Fiona and Scott's Adventures. Again, they'll both be linked in the cards and down below in the description box. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.